we're back talking about fractions. Today we're going to talk about um, word problems that uh, we can use tape diagrams and fraction by fraction multiplication to solve. So hopefully um, we can kind of break these down and understand these. So here's the first one. Um, Jane's icing 30 cupcakes. She spreads mint icing on a fifth of them. Chocolate icing uh, on half of the remaining cupcakes. The rest are going to get vanilla frosting. How many cupcakes have vanilla? So we're going to break this down little by little. The thing about word problems is they make us do it in steps, and the steps can get hard, and that's where we can make mistakes in math, so we need to break it down one by one. So the first thing that it says is Jane has 30 cupcakes, right? It doesn't say she has 30 cupcakes, but it says she's icing 30 cupcakes. So in this case, just, just kind of showing right here, this part, the 30 cupcakes... I'm going to put this underneath so you can kind of see it. Um, those 30 cupcakes, that's super important. That's what we want to know. We want to know, okay, she's got 30 cupcakes. That's really important to understand, right? Um, the other thing that we need, she spreads mint icing on a fifth of them. I'm going to do this in a different color. But uh, mint icing on one-fifth, right? So, well, let's do it in mint. Let's do it in a mint color um, and on a fifth of them. Uh, and then the half... The, the half of cupcakes are going to get chocolate, okay, and then our big question, I'm going to do that in red, is how many cupcakes have vanilla? So we don't need to know how many total there are, we just need to know how many vanilla there are. Now we're thinking in terms of fractions, so let's get started. Um, first, we want to draw a tape diagram representing the 30 cupcakes. Now, could I draw the cupcakes out? Sure. That's just going to take me forever. I don't want to. Um, so we're going to say that that is 30 cupcakes. Now, if she spreads mint on a fifth, that means that this has to be split up into five, correct? Good. So here we go. She spreads mint on a fifth. There we go, right? So here's the mint, the mint fifth. But how do we know how much is in the box? Well, simply, if there are five boxes, we can divide uh, 30 by that 5. So um, in this case, let me just fix this, uh, 30 divided by 5 equals 6. What does that 6 mean? 6 means each in, in each box. So we already know how many cupcakes there are with 30, but now we can start breaking this down. Uh, if 6 of them got mint, we now only have 1, 2, 3, 4, 6 times 4, 24 left. Now what we could do to show that is to draw another tape diagram right below it with just those four. It's going to be a smaller one, and I'm going to have that representative of the what we have left. And the, the reason why I do this is because it's a little easier to see the half. So half of the remaining cupcakes are going to be chocolate. Half of the remaining cupcakes are going to be chocolate. So in this case, that is what that's going to look like, right? Half of the remaining cupcakes are going to be chocolate. So we have six here, six here, and what is going to be vanilla? Well, vanilla is going to be just what's left. So in this case, it's going to be this one and this one because we split this in half, right? Do you see that? It's just in red. So we split it in half. So this half gets chocolate, this half gets vanilla, and now we are left with 12 cupcakes, right? And so 12 cupcakes are going to get vanilla, and it's a word problem, so we want to make sure we write that. Um, so uh, in this case, 12 cupcakes will be vanilla. And that's how we would do that. Um, now, let's get rid of all this. Get rid of these. And so let me show you what's kind of happening here. What's happening is we took a fifth of 30, 30 times one fifth, right? 30 cupcakes, and it's one fifth, or maybe, maybe you would read this better as this. So one fifth of 30 is going to be our mint. Well, one-fifth of 30 is one-fifth times 30, which equals 30 divided by 5, 
equals 6. So 6 are going to be mint. Of the remaining, which means that we have to take away that 6 from the 30 original cupcakes, we will get 24. Half of these, half of, I'll rewrite it, so half of this 24, what does of mean, right, is 24 over 2, or 1 half times 24, which is 12. Half our chocolate, so we had 24, we frosted 12 of them, so now in order to find our final answer, it's nice because it's half, but if it wasn't, you would just subtract your 12 frosted ones, and you would have 12 left, which would give us 12 cupcakes. have vanilla frosting. So that's how you would do it if you're not doing a picture. Um, I find it's a little easier to understand the picture, but um, it's pretty simple, uh, pretty easy. So you get some of those. Remember to pay attention to the question. Ask yourself, what is it asking? Underline what you need to know. Underline any relevant information. Take it step by step, and you're less likely to make mistakes. Thank <laughs> you.